Who was it? Who waited for you to come and do it? Who was it? <laughs> No, no he's probably just had his turn. Hey. <laughs> probably just wondering where he's
I've always tried to get unusual camera angles. You know, make it an event. Why put it in a toilet? You, you're threatening to now, are you? I abdicate. Shame. Yeah. Shame. I had my fair share of mechanical problems, not to mention a broken wrist and losing half a finger. Still, I'm pleased that it doesn't affect the handling of my bite. That's the main thing. Shame. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them that you dare speak to me too shy. Shame. Listen carefully to this sound. The first part is played as recorded. Vita, 5,000 lire al giorno. Same sound replayed at twice the speed. The second part is played in reverse. Or not to be. To be. Or not to be. To be. Or not to be. With every no good to be. Or not to be. To be. What you say, folks? project this image of um, zeal. I don't know what else you can say. Quanti monumenti. Quando si cammina per la città, bisogna stare sul marciapiede. You can say that as well. We just like to say... I'm a lot of fucking workers. They just like to say, well, they just never say instead of sitting there. Like, they don't taste. It doesn't really matter because, and also you see what I look like before. Same old dress, same old thing. I'm the fascist national front. I certainly fucking have. I don't mind.
are moving back into a district near the centre of Bristol where gangs of black youths have been rioting for several hours, looting shops and setting fire to cars and buildings. The Deputy Chief Constable of Avon and Somerset, Donald Smith, said a short time ago that his men had been ordered to pull out of the area because he feared for their lives. But heavy reinforcements had been called in and they would now be returning. The trouble in the St Paul's area of Bristol began after police raided a cafe in connection with suspected drugs and drink offences. The rioters began throwing bricks and stones at policemen and then started a number of fires. Firemen were prevented from dealing with the blazes and shops were looted, goods being openly distributed. So far, 19 policemen and women have been injured and several police vehicles destroyed.